Hello, you're listening to WBCR 90.3 FM Beloit. Welcome back to Beloit Circus Jams, hosted by yours truly, Juliana. I hope you enjoyed this week's microdose of the chaos that is my friends and their music taste. And one of our recurring guests is back, my good friend Aiden. Hi. <laughs> I, I cannot wait for the chaos of this playlist. Let's go. Would you I like would... to tell us what you've brought us tonight? This is the... This is the... I don't know. Not the first ten songs that I found mm -hmm. while I was going through my music. Some of them were songs that I've been listening to a lot recently. Um, you, quite a few of them I was listening to, uh, to a lot over the summer. Mm -hmm. So these are just songs that don't curse that <laughs> I found on my phone recently. Let's go! Alright, your first song that you have for us is Go featuring Karen O by Santa Gold. Anything you'd like to say before we give it a listen? So there is a movie on Netflix called Nimona. Oh, oh yeah, my sister Whoa. loves that one. Yeah. Yes. And for a long time, people were telling me, oh, you gotta watch Nimona, you gotta watch Nimona, you're gonna love it. And you're gonna love the main character. And I was like, okay, fine, sure, whatever. I'll put it on my list. Because hmm. I have such a long list of movies to watch. Don't we all? And after watching the movie, I was like, wow, this is my favorite movie ever now. Because <laughs> um, <laughs> they, they were all right. I love the main character. Yeah. Um, and one of the songs that is featured in the movie is actually this song. Okay. And it took me just a little bit of time, extra time to find it because there's a specific other song that has a clip from this song mm -hmm. that's in the movie. Also, so, me and Aiden used to play this song um, commuting to our jobs over the summer. We did. I would <laughs> like blare this in Paloma's dad's Jeep. <laughs> As you should. So, I'm excited to share it with you guys, and I, I'm excited to, to, I don't know, I hope I get to hear what people think of the song. <laughs> right? Alright, again, Go featuring Karen O by Santa Gold.
that was Go by Santa Gold featuring Karen O. Aiden, take it away. So yeah, that's one of the songs from Nimona. If you have seen the movie Nimona, you'll probably recognize the song from when Nimona is cooking, I think, <laughs> like, for, yeah, it's like, it's when she's cooking breakfast ta uh, tacos, I think. Iconic. And you, ju you just hear it blaring from her headphones. And, I, and I've and i never related to a character more. <laughs> and she's dancing to the song, too. Yes, she's dancing. And she's dancing to the song. Yeah. Very fun. So how come this one's on your list? You said you were playing it out of the Jeep a lot. Is this still a song yeah. you still listen to? Oh, yeah. No, definitely. I, it's just, a, it's a song that I really like, and it's definitely a song where it's like, I just, like, you could, like, people will song you, like, 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 like nod in my head along mm -hmm. with the song yeah. the entire time just because and I had to stop so that I didn't hit the mic um, <laughs> while I was doing my homework so <laughs> but um yeah it's just really 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 fun song mm -hmm. yeah all right uh the next song you have up is do you remember me by Emily Jeffrey yeah so this is actually what I got from TikTok oh yeah which I don't get a ton of songs from TikTok from sure artists, but this one's actually really really good it's really good the um the artist made an album with the concept of just like theming it after an 80s horror movie. That doesn't exist. That doesn't exist. Mm -hmm. And very, for people that are aware of Tumblr, um, <laughs> they'll, you'll likely remember the fake movie that does not exist called Goncharov. So mm -hmm. basically they goncharov this song and made it up an 80s movie that does not exist called Zipatha. Mm -hmm. And this is like one of the songs that's associated with the movie. Oh, heavily. So a lot of people, like, like, and this was like for the artist to get awareness of her songs and her albums mm -hmm. around, which it totally worked. Absolutely. And it, like, did really well, and it's got perfect day, like horror movie vibes. Mm -hmm. So if you look up like Zapatha or mm -hmm. this song, a lot of the videos are really creative of people being like, "Oh, do you remember when this character did this?" Or you look just like this character from this. And it's, a, it's just so much fun, and it's the peak moment of just the internet being the internet and actually coming together and doing something really fun. Yeah, absolutely. All right, let's give it a listen. Do You Remember Me by Emily Jeffrey. Forever 
That was where. Oh, sorry. Do you remember me by Emily <laughs> Jeffrey? <laughs> I was just Freudian talking. slip. It really was. I was just talking to Aiden about her older song, uh, "Where Are They Now," which another came out in really good song. Yes, and it's amazing. And that song and this song we just listened to, "Do You Remember Me?" She admitted to making on GarageBand, which is so yeah. technically impressive yeah. to do that with an app on your iPhone. Oh yeah, no, like. I love her music so much, and it has, like, such a great vibe to it, but mm -hmm. it's so impressive that she's able to make it the way that she does. Exactly. Okay, so another thing that we were talking about <laughs> when you guys couldn't hear us talking mm -hmm. was um, we were talking about how the whole thing around, like, Zapatha and this fake 80s horror movie, it was the first thing that Juliana said to me after we turned the mics off is, I saw a lot of people hating on Zapatha and saying it was weird and lame, mm -hmm. which is actually really accurate. If mm -hmm. you try to look at, like, Zapatha content of people, like, talking about this or engaging and pretending that it's real, mm -hmm. you will almost always get more than half of the videos that you look at is, oh, Zapatha's so weird, it's so, mm -hmm. like, cringy. oh my god, mm -hmm. this is something It's only, complicated. Yeah, this is only something for, like, weird TikTok teenagers, and uh, actually a lot of people were comparing it to Goncharov and how it's not as good as Goncharov. Goncharov being a fake mafia movie set in Naples mm -hmm. made up by Tumblr. Mm -hmm. And I think one of the main thing one of the main things that you'll see people commenting on is how there's not enough like concise canon or people are like only doing things where they make outfits inspired by what people wore in the movie mm -hmm. and like the outfits don't look like from they're from the eighties at all. Mm -hmm. People making up OCs, people talking about like, oh my god, this one girl, she's totally lesbian. And like which is Spoiler alert, that's how TikTok treats real movies. Mm -hmm. Like, if you look at, like, eight, like people making outfits inspired by, like, Breakfast Club, mm -hmm. all of the outfits look li like they're from, like, 2020 and beyond. Exactly. And that's what people mean when they make outfits inspired by this. Yeah. Or, like, all this sort of stuff. And when people complain about the canon, I think the main problem with, like, the canon not being as concise as Gontrov is Tumblr is a text it's a text-based platform and Gontrov was a text-based name. Mm -hmm. So all of the things were like put in concrete, like readable yeah. forms. Zapata wasn't. No. Zapata was a lot of just people just like agreeing like, oh these characters were mm -hmm. the main characters and then coming up with like other characters. Yeah. Or there, there were even some people that were trying to, like you'd see some people like trying to add another main character. Mm -hmm. One of which, like, one of the, the first videos I saw included like all the names of like all the like main characters. Yeah. One of which was supposed to be Silas, mm -hmm. which would be the main character's brother. Oh, I don't remember. Like, 
either brother or twin brother. Yeah. And apparently he was supposed like he was like supposedly written as bisexual <laughs> and like like totally had bisexual vibes. Sure. And this was like I only saw very very few like videos mentioning yeah. this person. There were obviously very concrete characters that everyone was wrapped yeah. up in and that they But they weren't as together. concrete as Goncharov. Like, that's people, what I find so cool about like, it. But I think part of that is just like how quickly this being built exactly. up and how TikTok inter- interacts with content. Yes. As just like as it does. Yeah. So it, is, it essentially became just a collage of what everyone agreed upon yeah. in their 15 second videos, which yeah. is really fascinating. Exactly. Um, and the thing you were talking about with just the costumes and making up characters reminds me a lot of yeah. like the Stranger Things fandom, which is exactly. an 80s show exactly. with characters that They're people gravitate towards and they'll make up their own or they'll yeah. dress up like characters from oh, the show. Yeah. And, and you'll see people like dressing up like Eddie or Steve yeah. and like, like all that sort of stuff. And yeah. people just look like they're it's the clothes that they have in their wardrobe, so it exactly. looks like an outfit that they'd wear to school. It's very accessible. Which is like, yeah. like, a, like Zapata was supposed to be like a summer camp yeah. horror movie, which I want to see it it's, so it's bad so now. Fun. I wish it was real, right? Because like that's totally my favorite type of vibe. Is just like <laughs> campy yes. horror. Yeah. No. Yeah. Like yeah. I want to. I stick me in the woods with a bunch of other people away from civilization, like, by five, like, 500 miles, mm-hmm. and horror movie tropes. I love it. That's the most Wisconsinite thing you've ever said. Thank you. Mm-hmm. It's true. Mm-hmm. That's all we do here. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, it's 718 here in the studio. Is there anything on campus you'd like to shout out for us? There is. There is an event coming up. Uh, let me see if I can find it. Uh, <laughs> I just had it up. Here it is. So it's going to be on November 28th. It's a uh, dark, cri- so if you've ever seen or heard of the movie The Dark Crystal, mm-hmm. they're going to be ma- uh, gr- there's going to be a group of people in Mothra Lounge, which is across the hall from Godzilla Lounge in the basement of Wood, mm-hmm. and people are going to be watching the movie and creating creatures from the movie, mm-hmm. and it's going to be starting at 4:30. So, See. I'm 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 very excited. Dark very Crystal fun. is, if any of you have seen Labyrinth. <laughs> it's like the puppets from that, but mm-hmm. that's all there is in the movie. <laughs> and it's even better. Yeah, exactly. Right. Uh, with that, the next song you have up for us is Smells Blood by <laughs> Kensuki Ushio? Yeah. Okay. I, I'm not sure how to say it either. <laughs> uh, I've only ever listened to it. Sure. Um, we try our best here. Yeah. So, funnily enough, another one from TikTok. All right. I, like, it's almost as if I spend too much time on that app. I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, <laughs> but this one, I can't wait for people to hear it because mm-hmm. it's. It's a little freaky sounding. All right, then. Let's give it a listen. Smells Blood. That was Smells Blood by Kensuki Ushio. Aiden, take it away. Yeah, so that's just a really fun song. It I, really is. Yeah. Uh, I just, I like how, like, deep the music is mm-hmm. and, like, paired with the, like, um, like, the vocals is just yes. such a great combination, like, that you're totally not expecting. And it's just so much fun. It scratches my brain in the best way. Yes, I really understand. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I think that's all I have to say about that one. Alright, uh, short and sweet. I'm pretty sure you, but you were surprised that you re- recognized the song. Right? right? You did not expect it to be the, that name, did you? No, not at all. <laughs> yeah. Also, if, have you, did you listen close to the lyrics? Uh, not really, I'll be honest, I can pop them up right now. One Ooh. of the most, the, the, yeah. Yeah, actually, wait, no, I think I have read this before, because I think I saw a video on TikTok with the, like, with yeah. the lyrics over it. Well, also, people will get the lyrics messed up. Oh, so, um, the, yeah. <laughs> I saw this in an Iron Lung, uh, edit. I'm not surprised because at all. Iron oh, Lung, okay. I'm not surprised at all. For the people at home, Iron Lung, there's a trailer out for a movie about the game Iron Lung that stars Markiplier, and the trailer and is butt. just, <laughs> the trailer is just Markiplier emerging from a pool of blood, because the whole concept of the butt. game, because <laughs> the concept of the game is that you are a prisoner that's sent to go mm-hmm. investigate a lake of blood on the planet. I would like to note that I sent you that video. You did? That's where I found it. <laughs> oh, okay. okay, listen. I think I got it beforehand, and then you sent it to me, and I was like, oh my goodness, that's so funny. He sent it to me, and I already seen this. <laughs> yeah, I totally sent it to you because of Markiplier's butt. <laughs> Awful. I no. hate it here. I didn't even notice That's why that. I sent it to you, too, Marcella. I thought it was really cool. Awful. Anyways. Uh-huh. <laughs> the next song you have up for us, Aiden. <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce the name of the song. However... Oh, no, 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 wait, that's, that's another one, that's, that's a different song, that's later. <laughs> this Up song, next, this song we can pronounce, we can pronounce this song. The Moon Will Sing by Crane Wives, which is very popular among our friend group. Yes, yes. Anything I, you want to say before we give it a listen? I love this song, it gets so stuck in my head. 
I love it so much. <laughs> <laughs> Valid. All right, again, The Moon Will Sing by the Crane Wives. Was, uh, the Moon Will Sing by the Crane Wives and uh, a little message from our friend Devin uh, <laughs> oh I've said this before but when I went to see the show right before Moon Will Sing the lead singer Emily said her wish for all of you is that someone never makes you feel the way I felt writing this and they think about that oh, every time they hear the song yeah yeah people really do forget that this song is not like a good like this song is not a good example of like a good healthy romance. It's a little, it's a little depressing, you know. Because <laughs> uh, if you're not paying attention to the lyrics, it is very easy to miss, mm -hmm. and it is a very common thing for people to compare like being in love and their lover to the sun and the moon, mm -hmm. uh, just because of the associations of day and night and all those sort of things. Yeah. However, if you listen to the lyrics of this song, it is very much about one person is. Like, like, the lyrics are, like, I only shine with the light you give me, mm -hmm. which is not, um, not, <laughs> not healthy, <laughs> not healthy. <laughs> um, and it's, like, I think another one of them is the, um, like, 
like it was what was it what is it oh my god i'm forgetting the exact words you're good the um like something about carrying every burden that you gave mm, yeah uh, yeah <laughs> Pull up the lyrics. <laughs> <laughs> this is only my second time listening to this song, I believe. Aside it's from such a good song, from I forgot that Devin saw it them live. I'm right? so upset now. It's so real. No, I'm but even so just upset. the line. Instead, you hoarded all that's left of me, swallowing your doubt like oh, swords yeah. to the pit of my belly. I want to feel the fire that you kept for me. Like obviously, this is not a two-sided relationship. No, it's and not. And it's de- it definitely gives off the vibes of like, it's not overtly abusive. No, but it is very much a sort of Implied. relationship where it's not. Yeah, it's implied, mm-hmm. but it's not one of the, like, relationships where you look at it and you're like, oh, that's an abusive relationship. Yeah, yeah. It is very much like a sub, it, it is very much like a subtextual mm-hmm. sort of thing yeah. where it's like, one person is in charge is, and is the main character and yeah. is the more important person, mm-hmm. and the other person's job is to be there for them, mm-hmm. which is really, really sad. It is. All right, well... On that happy note, we can <laughs> <laughs> on this happy note, we're gonna change vibes completely again. And mm-hmm. it, it's really good at this. Uh, I the told next you, one, I, I you live for the chaos. Well, I live for the chaos, but I also <laughs> didn't realize how chaotic this playlist was oh, until wonderful. I looked at it while yeah. I was sitting here. And I'm like, good. I am so excited for mm-hmm. this. Yeah. All right. Uh, well, the next one you have is "Cigarettes Out the Window" by TV Girl. Another great song. Oh, absolutely. I love it. Mm-hmm. The vibes immaculate. All right. Well, let's give a listen to the vibes. Cigarettes Out the Window by TV Girl. Aiden, take it away. All right. So, um, I forgot what I was going to say. Uh, 
So, fun fact about TV Girl, the band actually does not have any women in the band. And, funnily enough, n n no TVs in the band either. So, that's fun. But, mm -hmm. um, the other song I was actually thinking about before I put this song on the playlist was a song called Not Allowed. And I want to say the lyrics, but I'm not allowed. So... Even funnier. <laughs> yeah. Very, very fitting, to be mm -hmm. fair. Yeah, I asked Aiden, I was like, is this the only TV girl song you could put on because it doesn't have curse in it? Curses in it? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is. Mm -hmm. well, I had to include TV girl. Oh, absolutely. Obviously. How come? Why'd you have to add TV girl? Well, because, uh, well, they've just been on, like, I was listening to them a bunch over the summer and recently. Mm -hmm. And also, this song is so good when you're high. <laughs> oh, it is such a vibe. <laughs> Like these Fair are the, like these are the vibes of what like like these are like the peak vibes of getting high. It's like you're just with your friends that are also high, and you're just listening to like cool semi retro mm -hmm. music. It's great. I, I do love the instrumentals in it and the high, higher vocals. Yeah. I'm always a fan of those. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Also, when I get high, I can't control my voice, so my pitch goes up, and it's really really <laughs> funny. <laughs> Fair enough. Anything else on that one? On that one, I don't think so. Nothing right. I can think of off the top of my head. How about you? No, I'm good. I've, I've just a link, so you don't have to pronounce the, so the name of the next one. I am going to do my best. You've got I'm this. I'm only going to pronounce the first word, though, because All the right. other words are in parentheses. Mm -hmm. So the next song is called Sayaho, mm -hmm. which, um, for those of you that are confused why we are struggling to pronounce it, it is in Russian, mm -hmm. and I have not looked at how to pronounce Russian in at least two years, <laughs> so, because I was trying to teach myself a bit of Russian mm -hmm. because of, actually, I do have a little bit of a story for okay. why I was trying to teach myself Russian. Let's go. One, a band that I really, really liked at the time, like, spoke mostly Russian. Hmm. It's a very popular band called I Speak. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, um, I have, like, I had an, almost an entire song of theirs memorized, and I could still, like, kind of roughly translate. Wow. Because, like, like, well, because, well, only because I was able to look up the lyrics in English, so I was able to understand which phrases meant what. Yeah. So it's like, I can't really understand the other phrases outside of that, like, but I know a little yeah. bit. So, if you asked me in high school how to pronounce the name, I would have been able to figure it out, because <laughs> I, like, knew how to pronounce all sure. of the Russian letters. Shocking. But, this is a Russian band, I think it's, like, post-punk, if I am remembering correctly. <laughs> but, um, it, like, because the band, the band is called, like, yeah. Uh, Mokot Doma. Yeah. I was like, let me make sure I'm remembering <laughs> that correctly before no, I say great. that. Yeah. No, I'm doing great. You are. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, so the reason I was trying to learn Russian was, A, the Russian band that mm -hmm. I liked, along with, I was just getting into more Russian music. Sure. And also, one of the fandoms that I was in was actually, like, they had a really large Russian audience. So there were actually quite a few comics. Fascinating. Yeah, there were quite a few comics made, like, by people that spoke Russian. So mm -hmm. the text would be in Russian. And, I, and the art was really cool, so I wanted to understand what the comic yeah. was saying. For any of you that are curious, it's, the fandom I was in was a video game called Sally Face. Oh, that yeah. one? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I would not have thought that. Yeah, like a good like a good portion of the fan art and the comics that I would come across would be in Russian, hmm. and okay. I wanted to be able to understand it, yeah, so that I could like participate with the fandom more, because like a lot of people that were doing cosplays for Sally Face were also from Russia. That's sick. Yeah, so I just wanted to be able to interact with that side of the fandom. Mm. So I was able to a little bit, because mm -hmm. um, like I learned like t specific words that were like prevalent for the video game. Yeah. So. Mm -hmm. Fun random thing. Well, with that, let's get into it. This is a song by Molkat Dono. <laughs>
that was Mokot Doma song. Oh, uh, Sayaho. Awesome. All right. <laughs> I forgot uh, immediately once you said it the first time. It's, it's I think it's Sayaho. Mm-hmm. I believe. Like, it's very, there's, you can, yeah, there's different ways to pronounce it that I've seen, but. Yeah. I'm also definitely butchering it because <laughs> I haven't, like, spoken, like, or read Russian mm-hmm. in mm-hmm. three years. Okay, so. We try our best here. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We're doing our best, even though our best isn't that great. <laughs> yeah, I was telling you uh, during this song that this is one of the songs my brother listens to a lot because it's one of those fun songs that people have yeah. when they have like fun aesthetic photos of like dark nights or skylines yeah. and whatnot. So it is a very like aesthetic like song in that sort of way. Absolutely, the music behind it. Even if you don't like, even if you don't understand Russian mm-hmm. at all, mm-hmm. it's just a very very fun song to listen to because it is just a song that you can just like like go with the vibes because it is it is just one of those songs that it's just like. You just, like, flail around. Right? Like, it's so much fun. It's great. <laughs> I love it. All right. Uh, it is 741 here in the studio, which means I get to shout out something on campus. So our lovely uh, co-producer, Allison, who was once on the couch, is not here tonight because she is helping as the assistant stage manager to Mrs. Holmes and Mrs. Watson, the Woo! newest show on campus. So um, it is being performed tonight, tomorrow night, and Saturday night, and that is those are the last three performances of it ever. Um, it is at 7.30 p.m. at the Nice Theater in the Nice Performing Arts Center. Um, I highly recommend that you go. I've heard it's very funny um, and you will not regret going. Tickets are $5 and you can find out where to buy them online. And with that, Aiden, your next song is Harness Your Hopes by Pavement. Yes. No, you still have to say, say, the whole, say the whole name. Harness Your Hopes B-Side by Pavement. Yeah! Okay. That's, yeah. That's it? Yeah. That's All right. It. <laughs> Telegraph your passes, you'll end up with molasses, cauterizing syrup and syrup and molasses. And I'm checking out the asses, the assets that attract us to anything that moves. We're deep inside the grooves, and it's time to shake the rashes, cause someone's gonna cash in. The plot it turns again, the reference starts at 10. Well, show me. Don't you try to etch it or permanently sketch it or you gonna catch a bad, bad cold and the freaks have stormed the White House. I moved into a lighthouse. It's on a scenic quay. It's so, so far away, far away from the beginning. The shroud is made of linen. The yearling took the purse. The god kid has a hearse. Heartbreaking earthquake and kiwi in my My heart 
that was Harness Your Hopes, B-Side, by Pavement. Aiden, what do you have to say about this song? I like the vibes. I say that so often on this show, but I just, I, like, that's how, that's how I always sort all my songs, yeah. actually, is just the vibes of the song. As you should. Which, like, I don't understand why more people don't separate their songs, like, because, like, I see people separating them by, like, genre, or, like, when mm-hmm. they're listening to them, or when the songs were released, and I'm like... What are you doing? What are you doing? No, that no, they that's, don't go together. <laughs> that's the beauty of having different guests on. You get to see different perspectives on music. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Which it like I do like I do appreciate other people's perspectives mm-hmm. on music and like how they make their playlists. Right. But like I'm just sitting in the corner of like no, this is the song that you listen to when you're sitting on the pavement like outside of a Walmart. Why is this <laughs> going with this? <laughs> different associations with songs. Oh yeah, different associations and also just the songs have different vibes for right? different people. It's very fun. It's very fair. All right. The next song you have up for us is Where'd All the Time Go by Dr. Dog. I, <laughs> one of our friends on the couch just laughed. <laughs> and you know what? That's fair. Mm-hmm. I I don't know where I got this song, mm-hmm. honestly. But it is very Midwest emo vibes, so yeah. I'm not surprised that I got my hands on it. Sure. I think I heard it from TikTok first, so. Oh, fair. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, that makes sense. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think I just got it because I was, just, like, scrounging around for more Midwest emo music. As you should. Yeah. So. Let's listen to some Midwestern emo music.
that was Where'd All the Time Go by Dr. Dog. Aiden, take it away. Uh, apparently, the this song was too sad for one of our friends currently, which, um... Tragic Kale, I hope you're suffering. <laughs> I don't mean that seriously. I'm sorry. Yeah. No, it's very funny, though, because we put this song on, and this is the first song that we've had multiple people singing along to. Oh, yeah, no, like, I think almost everyone was mm -hmm. singing along to this song, which is, like, so, like, such a mood and so valid, honestly. Because mm -hmm. it's, like, it's one of those songs, definitely very Midwest-y. Oh, absolutely. But it's not super midwest though, to mm -hmm. the point that other people can't like it as yeah. much. So. The next song you have up for us is Edward Forty Hands by Mom Jeans. Okay, so this is definitely e Midwest emo. I, was gonna I say, cannot I wait to subject everyone to this song because <laughs> it is 100% me just torturing people with Midwest emo music, mm -hmm. and I'm going to be the only one that enjoys this song. <laughs> <laughs> I know you've talked about Mom Jeans before, so I'm Mom Jeans is a great <laughs> band. Mom Jeans is a great band. We'll let our listeners decide for themselves. Again, Edward Forty Hands by Mom Jeans. <laughs> Sorry, it's just people are complaining. Too bad! You know, they want to know if you guys can maybe try tuning up again or no. play on the beat and just do it right. No! Right. Let's stop fooling around and turn this band into a lead, me, mom, cheese, revenge machine! Yeah! Mom,
that was Edward Forty Hands by Mom Jeans. Aiden, take it away. All right. So we looked this up during the while well, the song was playing. Mm -hmm. um, the name Edward Sir, uh, Edward Forty Hands mm -hmm. is actually after a drinking game. Um, I did not recognize it <laughs> um, because it's a different name <laughs> where I'm from. Mm -hmm. uh, but it's just a Midwest drinking game that's mm -hmm. extremely unhealthy, mm -hmm. like old drinking things in the Midwest. Yeah. If I gotta be honest, mm -hmm. but. Yeah. Very, very fun. So why mom jeans? Mom jeans? Mm -hmm. You're like the band or the why is the, <laughs> the band choice. Name that? Oh. It, okay, so I was listening to this song actually in Rome with mm. uh, like one of my friends and like and I don't know, it just got stuck in my head. Yeah. And I, I still really like Midwest Emo mm -hmm. music, so the um you know, mm -hmm. it just got, it got stuck on my playlist. Okay. Yeah. All right. And then for the closing of your set list, you have Genesis by Grimes. Yes. Anything uh, you want to say? Julian is making me speed run talking during this so that <laughs> we can fit this on. Look, you had it on your list. <laughs> listen, well, listen, listen, listen. Obviously, I really like this song. Yeah. But like, we were had we had to talk earlier about like if we have to t knock one off, mm -hmm. Edward Forty Hands or Genesis. Mm -hmm. And I was like, mm, I really want to torture people with my Midwest emo music. <laughs> <laughs> Because that's the entire point of me getting to play my music. Of course. Torturing people. Yeah. <laughs> so, as a nice closing, we have Genesis by Grimes. Yeah. Bit of palette cleanser mm -hmm. exactly. after Bob Jeans. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, let's give it a listen.
that was Genesis by Grimes, and that ends our WBCR set list for the night out here at Beloit Circus Champs. You've been listening to WBCR 90.3 FM Beloit. I hope you've enjoyed your time listening in with us. Please be sure to tune in, not next week because it's Thanksgiving break, but the week afterwards. Uh, be sure to follow our Instagram at Beloit underscore circus underscore jams where we post about every guest we have so you can stay up to date with what you're going to be listening to. And with that, uh, we're going to go back to our regularly scheduled radio programming.